it's Binky here from BinkysCulinaryCarnival.com. We're here to make another easy recipe today. If you make something with this video, please post a picture of it to my social media. I'd love to see what you come up with. So let's get straight to the video. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get our ingredients together. In this case, which will make three cups, we're going to use four tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of flour, three cups of cashew milk which makes a nice creamy sauce and we're going to use three cups of mixed cheeses half a cup of parmesan and two and a half cups of swiss cheese so first thing we're going to want to do is to melt our butter over medium high heat in a medium saucepan and just watch that we're going to in a separate saucepan warm up the cashew milk uh, again in a medium saucepan over medium high heat once the butter has become nice and bubbly and frothy we're going to add the flour in all at once incorporate that so that it's well incorporated and whisk the lumps out of it we're going to want to cook this down for uh, four or five minutes to eliminate the flour taste from the roux at the end of the video I'll have some photographs of examples of things that you can make uh, depending on the cheeses that you use uh, I may have a burrito with cheese sauce uh, cauliflower with cheese uh, lots of different things you can make so once your butter's cooked about five minutes or so you're gonna stream in the cashew milk slowly and keep whisking that around you can see how quickly it starts to uh, thicken up and steam if you like this video or make something with this video, I would really appreciate it if you would post a picture to my social media. i love to see what you come up with. You want to test the thickness of the sauce after about five minutes or so. It comes nice and thick. See how it's coating the spoon so nicely and it pours nice and thick. Then you're going to want to add the cheeses one large handful at a time and let them melt in between and this too will thicken up the sauce Get another big handful add the uh, mild cheese first the mild cheese is going to give you a creamier sauce that's why we only used a half a cup of parm in this and we use the two and a half cups of Swiss because the Swiss is going to melt beautifully if you make the sauce with all Parmesan uh, you run the risk of it becoming grainy and you don't want a grainy sauce you want it nice and smooth and creamy once the Swiss cheese is all melted nicely you can add the Parmesan all at once again you're going to want to cook and thicken that for a while so it gets nice and thick and then you're going to want to test it you don't want to add salt until the very end after you add the cheeses because different cheeses have different salt content and you don't want your sauce to become too salty so i'm going to add a little bit of black crap cracked pepper uh, traditionally in a white sauce you use white pepper but i didn't have any so i just substituted black pepper and then from my salt mill i'm going to add a few grinds of salt because it still needs a little bit of salt but again taste it first before you add the salt so at this point you're basically done just let it cook for a few more minutes and move the flour and salt around so that the flavors incorporate If you could subscribe to my channel and or like my social media posts, that'd be great. Because this is an Alfredo sauce, I'm going to be adding parsley at the end just to give it some nice color and some nice flavor so I can add it to my chicken Alfredo, which will be the next video that we post. So just a couple photos here of recipes that are on the blog. There's burritos with laden cheese sauce. There's a macaroni and cheese and a lactose and gluten-free cauliflower au gratin. I've also uh, put some nutrition facts on here so you can see how the cashew milk compares to the whole milk and the heavy cream. 
a fraction of the fat and calories of heavy cream. So check out my blog, BinkiesCulinaryCarnival.com. Please post photos of your creations to my social media. I would love to see them. Have fun cooking.